nailed the pro grub. Oh, wrong way around. You got the black one there. So, oh, don't matter. I'll, I'll get it in. This is not obviously uh, ideal, folks, but <laughs> fish is a fish, you know. That's the way it goes. I'm just going to uh, compose myself a little bit. I'll um, just take this out there. I mean, actually, it was just about to begin to start filming. We just started the day. I said I'll have a little quick cast, Sam. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to set the, net, the mat up. Just rest him there. He's fine. And here's the prize. I literally had a quick cast. Before we started. Oh. Make it a bit easier. And there she is. What a start to the day. On the new 8cm Pro Grub in the perch pattern with a venue we're fishing today they're going to be fishing on eating on small perch small roach so i thought I'd start with the natural pattern a couple of casts and boom i mean this fish is easy going to be three four you know three five in a month or so i mean she's gonna be strong she's ah, ah, just like that <laughs> as quick as that right so this is what i was about to do uh before the crazy action um so today i'm gonna be going through with you guys um the pro grubs eight centimeter ones and i'll show you why well i already have lady but how effective the lures are and we'll go through different methods techniques styles of retrieve so you can use this when you go out and hopefully put some more fish like what you've just seen on the bank see how we get on So now, I want to go through the unique characteristics of the Pro Grub. Now as you can see, the main difference is the actual profile. It's unlike any other normal standard shad because of this lovely curly tail on the back. Nice slim wrist and a big surface area there makes that really wobble in, in the water. Obviously at this time of year when the fish are not so active, things like this, just little edge, will make the fish a lot more aggressive, thus giving you a few more fish on the bank. Now this, this particular size is the eight centimeter size and it's the actual smaller size of the three, they do a 12 and a 16, but this is the main one I use for perch. I mean, it, just look at it, natural perch pattern. So the way I fish this today at the moment is just a standard, standard jig head, as simple as it gets. And all I'm doing is just start, stop, pause on the floor just sort of getting a feel for the area first, seeing where they are, what layers they're in. I mean, the fish we caught first thing actually cut it as I was bringing it up. So I'm probably going to start to fish a lot higher in the water. Um, but with this, you can fish it so slow as well. I mean, you, you don't need a lot, a lot of speed to the retrieve. The curly tail does the work for you. And this is why it's an absolute deadly lure at this time of year. So we'll go over a few different styles. Um, and obviously throughout the day, I'll probably change how I fish the the program itself and we can cover a lot more detail different types of retrieves and methods I'm using there's many reasons why using as light as bridge you can get away with is, is important with this type of fishing but another one with the pro grubs is because that tail has so much movement you know when your lure's working correctly now with this 
when I've casted the lure out and I've let it drop to the bottom, then we do a couple of turns of the handle to bring it off the deck. As the, as the lure's fluttering, you can actually see your braid just going like that, which just shows you that the tail is beating correctly. So just little things like that, it just, just helps you, a bit of satisfaction, you know, like you know your lure's working correctly, but also it's just something else to watch. And if you do see a quick sharp pull, you normally see it before you feel it. Gives you them advantages of setting the hook home quickly. So now we're going to talk a little bit more in depth of the actual selection of colours I'm using today with the Pro Grubs. Now they come in various various patterns like most layers. Uh, we do them in the Supernatural and the classic patterns such as Roach, Lemon Tiger, Perch pattern, stuff like that. Now the selection I've picked is just a small selection, there's seven different patterns down there. Um, just to cover more of what I you know, could have been dealing with today, we've got some of the more vibrant colours, you know the fire the perch, the parrot, just in case the water's a bit more coloured, but it isn't, it's cleared up. Um, you know, we haven't had much rain around here for a week or so, so it's not too bad, which is why I opted first thing was to use the the perch pattern, which obviously I've caught on already. Um, I think, but I think next, I'm gonna switch to the roach, keep it natural, match the hatch, so to speak. Um, but at the moment, I'm still sticking with the jigs. You know, I'm just rigging it like you would any other jig straight through the nose, back through the side, hooks nice exposed, nice big gap there, lovely sharp point. There's various ways of rigging the Pro Grub, obviously the standard jig and the drop shot. Now the drop shot one is quite, it's quite unique, the way I fish the drop shot, and I'll go into this a bit more depth later on, is I don't exactly fish it like a conventional drop shot, um, and sort of do a slow, slow, steady retrieve, but using the rig itself to control the depth of the lure, the lure's depth I'm fishing. Um, but again, I'll go into that a bit more detail later on. And then also you could use it on such if you've got a bit of water movement, canals, uh, rivers, you can hold the drop shot quite steady and let the water movement do the work for you. And that's down to this important tail. But again, we can go through that a bit later on and show our rig, rig up the drop shot. As I said earlier, I also just going to try the drop shot and I'll show you now quickly. That's the program on the drop shot. As you can see, it's not too big. Uh, I mean, it's probably a lure people might not think to put on the drop shot, but for me, it's an absolute killer. You can fish it just like you do, you know, your normal conventional drop shot style. And obviously using the drop shot weights, you can move them up and down as you would which will control your depth of your fish and your, your pro grub. Now, how I like to fish it, and I'll show you as I'm casting away now, there's obviously various ways. I mean, one of the ones I do, which is probably a bit different to what other people might do, is cast it out, let it sink down, rod tip quite low, and just do a really steady retrieve. Now I'm doing this, and you can stop, but your lure is gonna sink, so you can actually control the depth that that lure is working so you can it allows you to, to actually fish the lure a lot slower without the fear of it going into any snags or you know again fishing back on the bottom like you would with the normal conventional jig head Big fish, but to show you, just seen a couple of a couple of uh, disturbance on the on the surface. I had to Sam and give a quick cast over there before we go. Flicked it out on the drop shot. Steady retrieve. Really saw like I was doing earlier. And <laughs> it almost took it. Probably three or four turns of the handle. Future big fish. 
getting back. Bit of fun. Hopefully it'll grow to be a big one. Oof. Well, I'm just making my last few casts now, and it has been a tough day, given the conditions, but we've had a fish, you know. It just shows that the pro grub is up to the job. It certainly is a lure not to be, not to be ignored. Definitely have it in your box. I mean, I've caught some, you know, numerous fish on this lure. So I hope today, this little video has helped, helped you understand the different ways of being able to fish the lure itself. And obviously, if you're not seeing the low itself, introduce you to the Pro Grub as well. So yeah, get on the Pro Grub, get casting, get catching, and tight lines. <laughs>